Welcome back to another video. Apple did just announce that there is a new Apple event coming on March 8th. So what can we expect? I personally think there's not that much that will happen on this event. So don't get too excited. I will start with the things that are most likely to be announced at the event. I think the Apple event will start with some service updates. Maybe a new Apple Music Pro plan or a trailer or something for Apple TV Plus. And maybe Apple will release Apple Fitness Plus in more countries. And maybe also some new thing for Apple News Plus. And maybe some new thing for Apple Arcade. We don't know or maybe in new service, maybe books plus or something we don't know but we will see what apple will do with the services i expect apple will do something with services or say something about them so after the services apple will announce the new iphone as the third generation the budget iphone of apple so this iphone is for people that want an iphone but don't want to spend a lot of money on an iphone so what will they change on the iphone as the third generation the design will stay the same as the iphone 8 so they will add 5g connectivity maybe an updated camera and of course they will update the processor to the A15 Bionic so that are likely the new things for the iPhone SE third generation. So the next thing they will probably announce is the iPad Air 5th generation. The design will stay the same but they will just update the specs so that means the iPad Air 5 will also get 5G connectivity. Then almost all the iPads do have 5G support. There's only one iPad left that does not have 5G and that's the normal iPad, the cheap one. So the next thing that will be brought over from the rest of the iPad lineup is center stage. That was on all the iPads. Expect the iPad Air. So now we can surely expect it on the iPad Air 5. The last thing that we will update is the processor to the A15 Bionic. This is all the information we have for what they will do. Maybe there's also some other things that they will do but for now we don't know that so we need to wait for the event itself. So now we're going to talk about the Max. I personally think Apple will release Max at this event because it's looking against peak performance. So what can this mean for the Max? Like the iPhone SE and iPad Air 5 are definitely coming. The Mac I was a little bit unsure but Apple just confirmed it so yeah the slogan is peak performance so what do i think about that so leakers are saying apple will put the m2 chip first in the macbook pro 13 inch with the touch bar and that's it for the macbook pro no new design and that's just the old 2016 design of the macbook pro nothing else maybe some improvements overall but the m2 chip will not be big leap for the m1 chip it's just a little bit faster and maybe a little bit more efficient on that stuff but and also i personally think they will put the m2 chip in the mac mini not a new design also and that's i I think that's everything what we can expect so really quick repeat it so we're gonna expect apple will just say something about services then they will announce the iphone SE with 5g then they will do the ipad air 5 generation and then they will do the macbook pro 13 inch with touch bar with the m2 chip inside and a mac mini with the m2 also so that's what we can expect and yeah well, let me know in reactions what you think what apple will do at this event and also let me know if you're hyped or not i'm a little bit excited i'm really loving to watching these apple events so please drop a like and subscribe and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video